Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Stars Themselves. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 2, Episode 9, titled The Road Trip. I'm really excited from just that title. I'm looking forward to a road trip episode. I love road trips myself. It's more difficult now as a disabled person because road trips make my pain worse. But I've always been an adventurous person and I have always loved road trips. So I'm excited for this episode. Often road trip episodes in shows are really fun and interesting. I know I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys, but I love New Girl. And there's an episode in New Girl where they kind of go on a makeshift road trip and get trapped somewhere. And it's one of my favorite episodes. But yeah, so I'm excited about this. I am super frazzle brained. I have had like a headache for the past like two weeks and it's been really painful today. It's better than it's been, so that's good and kind of why I'm here. Also, my hair is looking better today, so that's also why I'm able to film today. I, for some reason, thought that I had filmed a reaction to episode 8, like, two weeks ago, but I am so frazzle-brained that I literally filmed it a month ago. Like, it honestly is probably just because I've had this headache for two weeks, so it feels like those two weeks have just been headache, and so it feels like two weeks ago was actually a month ago, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> my, my brain is really weird right now, but anyway, I... I'm just, I'm excited to get into this. I know it's been way too long since I watched the last episode and I really don't want that to become a pattern even though it kind of already is. I want to keep up on these so that I'm in the storyline and remembering things. I just kind of skimmed through the last episode. I had forgotten but I, I skimmed through it and noticed it was the episode about Uspis and that goofy guy that was thinking he was a hero for getting knocked out on the way into the crime scene. <laughs> So yeah, that was the Auspice episode. I don't really remember much about that episode, just that it was a silly Auspice dude. There's that. I don't know what to expect with this episode, so I'm stoked to see what happens. I think that Amy's still with Teddy, but I could have just forgotten to break up again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know that happened with Charles and Vivian, but... We shall see. So, uh, if you'd like access to full-length reactions of everything that I watch now, which is amazing, I mean, unfortunately, it's still not gonna be available for season one of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and all through episode seven of season two, which, if you're here, you probably know that already. But yeah, starting with season two, episode eight, Brooklyn Nine-Nine should have full-length reactions because there's less, uh, there's less ads, so I'm able to make it work. I'm able to cut them out easier for full-length reactions. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So if you're interested in full-length reactions to this episode and the one before and future ones and to other shows that I've reacted to, other movies that I've reacted to, definitely consider becoming a member. There's a link to do that in the description of every single video. There should also be a join button. And if you would like to support me but don't want to sign up for a monthly subscription sort of thing, uh, consider super thanks. That's also super helpful and really appreciated. And if none of that's your jam either, but you still want to support me, then definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. Turn on the bell so you see everything that I post. And like this video and leave a nice comment. And let's get into the episode. Whoever's behind this smuggling ring knows their way around the dock. Why does Charles look like a conductor? <laughs> like a train conductor? Taking a little break on dry land, but just until my girlfriend like Tangela it. gets out of lady jail. Tangela. <laughs> Did you just spit? Yeah, it's chewing tobacco, huh? There's some tobacco in there, too. Yeah. Vaughn chews it, but it makes Jake super dizzy. That's a, that's a large commitment to the bit, Jake. But I kept it. Because I love the seagulls. What are you, Irish now? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, nice shirt on him. That's nice. The mafia was closing in on him. Oh. Oh, so they don't have to have their... They don't have to do their personas. Case closed. Well, that's sad. They got the whole outfits and the backstories and the accents. You have ten minutes. 
coffee. Extra black, extra no sugar. Ten minutes to just go have a break and play their parts just for fun. That's kind of fun. I love that. That was totally wrong. So we're going up today and spending the night. Here are the transfer forms. Okay. This could be an interesting episode for the Jake and Amy storyline. Huh. I invited Sophia to join me upstate. The B&B we're staying at looks really nice. Sophia, right. She's the lawyer that he's dating. He did brew me a rose-infused pilsner once. It tasted like hand lotion and the bubbles didn't happen. <laughs> That's really sad. Oh. Is he going to cancel? No, he's not. Okay, that would be weird because he's actually dating her. <laughs> And he's, she's actually dating Teddy, too. Oh, I wonder if he's going to try to set something up with Teddy so that Teddy actually comes with her. Maybe that's what he means by Cupid. Until now, all we've had in common was our bank. Guess who? Oh, <laughs> literal bank. Okay. Yeah, why would you do that to a cop, man? Sorry, guys. I hope you can't hear my neighbor. I'll have to cut out the audio sometimes. I really can't stand my neighbor. I have a perp in the interrogation room. I need all the files. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Yeah, she looks real sick. I'm fine. Diaz's don't get sick. <clears throat> I can totally tell that her paleness is makeup. It's quite clear. But they did a good job of portraying a somewhat sick look on her face. At least let me buy you some matzo ball soup. It's very soothing. Speaking of matzo ball soup, it's almost Passover. In a few days. I really wanted to get some matzo ball soup recently, and then I forgot that it has wheat in it. <laughs> and there wasn't any gluten-free around, so it's unfortunate. I was going to say dessert. Oh, a synonym. Cool. Better. Hey, Amy, I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. They really seem like they're actually, like, dating, dating. I thought they were kind of casual, but I don't know. I called him before we left. Is she not going to want that? Uh... Uh, you're welcome. Jake! Yeah, she's not happy about it. I don't want to see Teddy right now. I'm about to break up with him. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, fairly appropriate response, but also stop. <laughs> oh, it sucks. There's just no spark between us anymore. Hmm. All he wants to do with his free time is make and bottle pilsners. It's all we talk about. I actually really appreciate that she is being so honest with Jake about this. It really shows that they're good friends because she trusts him with this. And he's being a good friend by trying to help support her, even though he kind of made a mistake in the first place. And understand totally my mistake. Fault, so I promise I'll do everything I can to help. Tonight, I will focus solely on you and Teddy. I don't know if that's going to happen. I just negotiated my baby girls down from a pony to a hamster. <laughs> Little fools. <laughs> I hate to point out the obvious, so, but why do you need the meds if you're not sick, huh? <laughs> the cold symptoms that my healthy body is exhibiting. Right. So that's how that works. Goodness sakes, Rosa. Demon. <laughs> And I go, 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 too many dolls. I know. Well, it is literally the room of a thousand dolls. Wow. What would be even more romantic is hanging out with two other people who have fallen out of love. Oh, he's going to recruit her to help. Okay. Is she going to want to help? You're just trying to do something really nice for a friend, and it blew up in your face. Thank you for being understanding. Yeah, she's being surprisingly understanding. Very cool girlfriend. The coolest. Girlfriend. Okay, I must have really forgotten some stuff because it sounds like they are dating and calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend, so... Okay. Ah, puppets! That's terrifying. I mean, yeah, a thousand dolls, it'd have to be in the closet, too. Tell me what I'm eating. Fine, it's a sharp Vermont Cabot. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, this is like Remy and his brother, you know? I remember his you brother's love name. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Their components have a long shelf life, and they're so simple a child could make them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are complete opposites when it comes to food. When I eat it, I feel as though I am once again inside her womb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I want a sandwich. I make a sandwich. I eat the sandwich. I can kind of relate to that sort of interaction on a lesser level because... I am also someone who's very emotionally invested in things and talking to people who aren't is like, kind of breaks my brain a little bit sometimes. Keep things super unromantic. I'm great at that. Yeah, he is. Woo. Wait, should we have high five that? I don't know. It doesn't matter. She's being really supportive. You only have to act normal around Teddy from the elevator to the room. Do you think you can do that? Yes. No. There he is. Teddy in the house. Yeah. Who is surprised? This place is really romantic. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that romantic, actually. It's so romantic. <laughs> there was a dead crow in our toilet. Wow. It's got a fireplace. I want to snuggle up next to that thing with you. No, I don't want to do that because of the cancer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. When we first started dating, Amy and I found that- Oh, my gosh. This is painful. Remember that, babe? Ugh. Speaking of road trips, I thought the road trip was going to be two here, but I guess maybe the road trip is going to be back home? We haven't had a road trip yet. That's it. Jerko, Jerko! <laughs> Ow! That's pulling out all the stuff? <laughs> what is happening? I want to break it up. Thank you. I think that's honestly the best way to do it, as much as it sucks, because rip off the Band-Aid, you know? We having a good time? No, we are not. <laughs> uh. No, there's no Michael here. You have the wrong number. I'm Michael. That's a dumb name, but it's yours, and you should be proud of it because you are the greatest detective I've ever known. What? She's so hopped up on that stuff, her brain's gonna blow. Yeah. Rosa, I gotta tell you a secret. Okay. It's a secret. Yeah, she did lock her in a room. Wow, okay, of course. I should have known she would do that. I don't know why I didn't think she would. They are a highly nuanced. I gotta respect Charles for trying to, you know, influence Holt into enjoying cooking, but oh, th this is making for an entertaining episode, so that's good. Well, the, the higher the heat, the faster the eggs cook, the sooner Kevin eats. Am I incorrect? No. Correct, but also not the best flavor slash texture. Cooking is about patience yeah are you completely <laughs> can a pan the hand the hand i mean i don't think it's that serious but yeah i also hand first because it will just get all stuck in there with the steam you sir are not ready to scramble eggs hand over your spatula oh, to each their own charles he doesn't have to be a culinary magician I smell burning. Is Hitchcock roasting corn in the radiator? It's probably his egg that he forgot about. The main reason you want to break up with me is the Pilsners? No. I like other drinks. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay, you're not helping yourself. But I get it. There are so many reasons I want to break up. That sounded bad. Yeah. There's just no spark between us. Uh, you're... It is so hard to break up with someone and, like, tell them without telling them, you know, like, you don't want to hurt them too much, but also, yeah, it's rough. I think you should stay, so we can all talk about the real reason there's a problem in my relationship with Amy, which is you, Jake. Ooh, okay, I did say this episode could be good material for Jake, Amy storyline. I know for a fact you also told her when you got back. Oh, gosh. She would get confused, and then our relationship would get out of sync. Oh, gosh. I think it's because Amy liked you back. Did you? Mm hmm A little. Yeah. I don't know how to feel right now. Officially too much for me, so I'm gonna go upstairs and rip the heads off some dolls. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, me too.
I am speechless. I don't even know what to say. I am so sorry, sir. You were a wrong door. You were wrong door. <laughs> Great comeback. I promise you, I am not into Amy. Uh, I like you. Then you sure you're over Amy? Yes. No. No. You didn't even sound like you believed yourself when you said yes. After our disagreement yesterday, I went to read your culinary blogs and scoff. I actually learned something. So I made Kevin this. It's a croque monsieur. It's one of our most treasured memories. Thank you for your guidance. That's so sweet and unexpected. Oh my. <sighs> <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, wow. He's a natural chef. Did he actually do that or did he buy it somewhere? I feel like he actually did it, but wow. Okay. Oh, Terra Bear, what if she sleeps forever? <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh my gosh. Billy from Stranger Things much? Terry paid me $20 to lock you up. No, I did not. He really didn't. And I made you this special care package. That's really sweet, actually. Wait, is that a smile I see? My immune system is too weak to fight off my small muscles. <laughs> oh. You okay? So this is the perp and here's the road trip. All right. So the road trip. This is what the episode is about. Hmm. We're still together. I told her, you know, everything with me and you is in the past and we're just friends. Right. Yeah. <sighs> to know that you used to like me and I will bring it up. Used to? Mm. Yeah, she clearly still likes him. I could always just cut across it. Amy used to like Jake Boulevard. Okay, Jake, stop oh it or I'll gosh. crash the car. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, okay. That was a sudden end that I did not expect. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that was fun. Clearly, Amy still likes Jake. I think Jake still likes Amy too, but he wants to hang on to Sophia for whatever reason. But wow, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that episode. That was super fun and wacky and goofy. Um, I actually liked like all of the elements, actually, like the Charles and or like the Boyle and Holt thing, the Rosa, Terry and um, Gina thing, the Jake and Amy thing. It was all really enjoyable. I really liked it. It went by really fast. And there was no ad break, I just remembered. At least I don't think there was. So that's fun. But yeah, good times. It was fun. I really enjoyed that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. And if you did, please leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe. Turn on the bell if you haven't already to get notified every time I post a new video. And consider becoming a member if you'd like to see full length reactions. There's a link to do that in the description below. And yeah. Super thanks if you wanna, and I'll see you next time. Bye!